Okay, this last video that we're gonna be talking about is our defenders um, and what they need to do when we have the ball. So let's get oriented again. Here's our goalie, our three defenders, our two center mids, our two wings, and our center forward or striker here. So let's say our defender has the ball out here wide. If the defender has the ball here wide, then the other two defenders' job is to drop back to become an option there. Our goalie always wants to be aware and be an option too because they are also one of our defenders, and then the other back should open up wide here. So if we need to, we can swing the ball around the back, play our goalie and swing it around the back too as an option. So anytime, let's say our center back has it, if our center back has it, then these two defenders don't wanna be flat with them straight across. They wanna drop back and wide to become options. Okay, so that's if our defenders have the ball, okay? If our center mids have the ball, our defender's job is to drop back. We do not, too often we steal the ball, our midfielders steal the ball, and our defenders are too tight to them. They need to quickly drop back and wide and find different passing lanes for our center mid to be able to lay it back to them if needed. Um, same thing if the ball's over here. If the ball's over here, then our center mids need, or our defenders need to drop back for our center mid to become passing options. So we can play it to any one of them if it's an option. So when they have the ball, we want to look to go forward. If we can't go forward to our strikers or wings, we want to go to our midfielders. If we can't go to our midfielders, we want to swing it back and around and try to go the other way. So first, they're going to look to play our center forward or striker. Like the through ball down the line to them, or if they check into the space under their feet there. If that is an option, then they want to play it up to the wing here. If that's not an option, then they want to play it to our center mid here. And anytime they make a pass, they always want to move to become an option. So if they play it to the wing here, they're going to scoot up to support that pass. If they play it to the defender here, they're going to make themselves an option, or the center mid here, the defender's going to open up to become an option there, as well as the other two, always wanting the ball, okay? Um, if the wing, on this side pushes up and has the ball then the defender on that side is also going to push up to support the play there so if nothing's open going forward or laterally they can turn and play it back to that defender there who's there to support them and same thing on this other side if the ball's pushed up all the way here then the defenders shift all three of them shift this way so this defender can support the ball here and if, it, if there's no options going forward then they can play it back there and we can easily swing it around if we need to Adding the goalie into this, because they're always our defender. If we're pushed up this far, our goalie needs to push up to be an option too if we need to play them. Okay. Other things, if we have the ball and we've got pressure on our back here, our goalie is always an option to play it back to. If we play our goalie, then our defenders need to sprint back and wide to become options for our goalie to be able to easily play it out. Anytime we play it back to our goalie, the defenders need to drop back and wide for them. And everyone else needs to get to be a passing option for our goalie, okay? The last thing that our defenders need to know is if we play the ball to our wing and our wing checks in here and receives it and we've got pressure on their back and there's this open lane, then we call it an overlap run. So this, mid, this defender here is going to overlap their wing there and push up into that space. And the way that works is let's say they play it into this wing here. This outside defender makes this run, they lay it off, and then they're into space attacking down the line. If that ever happens, the center mid on that side will then drop back into the position of that defender to cover them so there's balance on the field. So just to review that one more time, we've got our three defenders here. We've got our wing here. If the wing gets played a ball here and they check in and they create space here for the defender to overlap, they can lay it off to them, attack down the line, and this center mid drops into their space there. And then everyone can attack with that defender down the line. So that's called the overlap run. So this is everything we just went over for the defenders.